Now we will see how to apply the formula for compound interest and find the future value. Sam deposits $700 in an investment savings account. The annual interest rate is 4.5% compounded annually. Determine the amount after 7 years. So it's a compound interest case where future amount A can be written as present value times 1 plus i to the power of n. Now, in this formula, p is the principal amount, which is, in this case, $700. So we know p is equal to $700, the principal amount deposited by Sam. Now, it is deposited into a savings account, which gives interest at the rate of 4.5% compounded annually. So i is the interest rate during the compounding period. Now here the compounding period is one year so it will be 4.5 percent but this i is the value in decimal value. So decimal equivalent of 4.5 percent is 4.5 divided by 100 which is 0 0.045 correct? So we know i. Now it says determine the amount after seven years n is the compounding periods. Now in this case, since it is compounded annually, n is equal to 7. Now we can place these values, substitute these values in the formula and find a amount which is the future value, right? So we get a is equal to 700, 1 plus 0 0.045 to the power of 7. Now we can use the calculator and calculate the answer. So 700, 1.045 to the power of 7. So 700 times 1.045 to the power of 7. It gives us 952.60. So that is the answer. So our answer is dollars. 952.60 will be the amount after 7 years. Correct? Now try to do the same question by changing the compounding period. Make it semi-annually and see by what factor it changes, right? So it will be interesting. How does the value of i and n changes if you change the compounding period from annually to semi-annually, right? So think about it and try it out. Thank you.